activity relationships in Primavera PCs Professional, adding predecessor and successor activities using activity details and parts. There are four types of activity types. We have the FX, finish to start. We have the FF, finish to finish. We have the SS, start to start. And lastly, we have the SF, start to finish. The FS is predecessor must finish before successful activity can start. The FF, finish to finish, is when the predecessor and successful activities can finish at the same time and is used for delaying activities. SS is start to start, that is the predecessor and successful activities can start at the same time, which is also used to fast track uh, schedule. Then lastly, we have the S SF, which is the uh, predecessor activity can start before the successful activity can finish, okay? So now to add uh, the predecessors and successor, you need to really know what a predecessor and successor activity is. Now, this is a part view showing us the activity network. You have the Fox box showing us the P up here is the predecessor. That's the activity that comes before the next activity. So the next activity is called the successor activity. So that's so P here is predecessor, X is successor. So now this activity type is showing me finish to start. Okay, it's finished to start. That is this predecessor activity must must finish before this social activity can start. Alright, now for SS, that's start to start. These two activities started together, which means this, the first activity here, this spiritual activity and also this spiritual activity here, must start together or are starting together. That's SS. So this week, another example here, this predecessor activity, this is successor activity, this is a predecessor activity, this is under successor activity. So the last activity we have here is the successor activity. Okay? So it does not have any successor but as predecessors. All right. So to add predecessor and successor activities, you can use the tabs below. We have the predecessor tab and the successor tab, or you use the two, the bars at the right hand corner here, at the right hand corner, which are uh, see it here. You have the rows, you have the resources. Then move down. You have the predecessor bar, and you also have the successor bar. So to do that, you have to select or highlight the activity you want to add, whether the predecessor or the successor activity. Then you come here to add the successor activity. You click this. It will now take you to where you have, you have your activity successors. Then from there you choose the right successor activity for. This, the highlighted activity we have here. Same vein we do here using the tab. So if I'm adding a predecessor activity, I will select, I will select uh, a, the activity that I want to add a predecessor, then click the predecessor tab here, then click assign. You expand to see clearly a broader view. Now move up and down to select the predecessor activity on the hard. And the same way, another option is using the network path by clicking this network activity network icon here, or you go to view, expand, then you see the activity network here. You click on it. Alright, so it will not take you to this place. So if you click the project the project uh, folder here to display all the activity you want to view and how you want to link the predecessor and successor activity. So now if you want to zoom it, you see the plus button here to zoom in. You see me to give you a broader view. And um, I might want to 
I take away or take out this um, activity or network detail here. Click my view, show on button, and click no button details. All right, so I'm able to have a, a broader view. So I've already linked one, two, three, four activities now to continue. Okay, now I'm not seeing it clearly here now. If I want to, the way I do mine, I have to click the gun charts. All right, so um, or oh, another option I have. I had a column for predecessor or successor activity that will make my work easier. So to do that, go to view, expand, column. Then in columns, I will now look for predecessor for general. Scroll down. Predecessor, successor activity. No, yeah, checklist, spawn list. So I have, um, okay, see my predecessor here. Yeah? I select it. My predecessor will come here. Okay, then uh, that's my predecessor. Then I also have a successor. All right, click OK. So I've added two columns. All right, now. By default now, I know by default I've earlier on added a successor for tiling work and repair. Also did for painting work, painting work new and repair. So now to let's quickly do this. That using column, I will do maybe one or two using columns. Then I will go to the network diagram and do only one or two. Okay now. Let me do that. So this has the the first activity here, which is tiling work and repair. Is the first activity does not have any predecessor, so it only has a, a successor. So and it has two successors, showing us it has A15, this, and A25, this. So painting work and repair also depends on the finish date of uh tiling work and repair that's what it means so now this as a successor which is 15 then glass work and replacement he has a predecessor which is a5 then uh then this one the next one is a25 he has a predecessor which is a5 and a successor a35 then this let me look at this does windows and iron grease works yeah it has a processor of painting work and uh, repair so now let me add successor activity for those windows now to have a successor activities for door window i'll quickly come here i'll quickly come here either i type a successor here okay or I click come to this one and add a predecessor. So let me use successor. Type successor. Look at it. Okay, so from here now, after the windows and memory works, uh, I have repair and fixation pressure switch, repair and fixation of floating valve. So my next activity here is going to A45. Which is repair and fixation of pressure switch. So I'm going to come here, look for it here. Repair and fixation of pressure switch, which is this. I highlight it and click the assign here. It it it, it, it now has a successor and then if the repair and fixation of pressure switch also now has a predecessor, which is the doors, windows, and iron mongrel walls. All right, then again, uh, for repair and fixation of floating valve uh, system, also has um, a successor. Okay, so now a successor will be will be repair and will be repair and. Um, wash basin flushing but what I'm going to do these two will start together so I'm going to show you how to do that okay 
I'm going to show you how to do that. So I will not use this. Let me use another method to do it. So I'm going to click view, show on bottom, display the details. So now I go to successor. Okay, so the successor for this now. Make sure you click the successor tab, click assign. Then I'm going to select A55, which is repair and position of floating valve system. I double click it. Already have it here. So now I want these two guys to start together. Instead of having relationship here now, instead of having FX finish to start, I'm going to double click it and change it to SS, which means they will start at the same date. So I close this. It's showing that these two will start at the same date. Okay, so I've done for this. This one now has a predecessor. Okay, now but it does not have a successor. So to create a successor for floating repair and floating valve system from here i'll click a successor for it assign which is going to be a65 repair and position of toilet flushing system i'm going to look for it here this is it set a light and what assign so it's going to be finished to start all right finish to start so I close. You may not want to close and leave it you continue. So now this is successor for for a the predecessor for this guy now is A55. Now the next one is to do A75. Now I'll now do successor for this A65. Click here and click A75. I close. So it's complete. All right, this guy now has a successor after A65 A75. So I move down to this last one. Now this last one now I'm going to use um I'm going to use my network activity network to do it. So I click on it. Alright, so see what I have here. So remaining this, and now remember when you are doing your network uh activity network. Make sure you have a closed path, no open-ended path or no open-ended activity. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this one to be a successor of this. Alright. So now I'm going to select this and click predecessor. So I'm going to select my predecessor to be this. So for me to do that, I'm going to do this. Now I have to decide whether this and this. These two activities that I want to link together are finish to start or start to finish or finish to finish. So if I want these two guys to finish at the same day, the same time, so I'm going to I want to link this, the finish of this, to the finish of this. Okay. See now. Mainly, I did that. It has changed it to FF. Calculations, the relationships here. Relations, the, the, the relations of this activity and this shows that it is FF. That is, this activity cannot finish until this has finished. That what implies. Then I now have this to have a close part. I will now say this one. Okay, will be finished to finish with this. Are you getting it now? Or finish to finish with this. That is, after this one has finished, then this can finish. So let's say to have a close part, or it depends on the flow of the activity you have of your of your project. Okay. So for this uh, tutorial class, I'm going to just show you how to do that. So I'm going to take this, the finish of this, to the start of this. Let me just close it here. You see, you make sure this arrow is showing. You drag to the back of this. Get it. And I have it. Okay? So, this is what we have. So, this and this are finished the same time. This. Look at the first activity here 
and these guys, this other one, this activity, they started the same day. At the start of this, this will finish. Then when this one finishes, then this can start. This activity, when, it, when this one has finished, this can start. When this one has finished, this can start. Then this and this can start at the same time. Then also the finish of this will determine the start of this one as well. Okay? So this is what we have as our activity. So if you want to if you want to view it WS by WS, you come to this place and click each of these W elements to show you the relationship of these activities. Alright? Then this one now is showing me that at the end of this, nothing is starting. Let me go back. That's the first activity. Okay, because I click on this. But if you look at the overall, yeah, it's showing me after this, then this. At the finish of this activity, this can start. So let's go down again. You have this. You have the internal. You have the external. And the plumbing, drainage, carpenter. So it's showing us each activity per WBL, WBS. So, but if I click on the project here, it will give me overall view of my activity network. So I'll take you back to my Gantt chart. All right, so simple as that. All right, similar as this what we have done. Uh, look at in the columns. See, I have all my activity here, and, uh, and uh, my activity successor, predecessor, and successor, all filled in. So, now looking at this column, it shows that the last activity here, replacement and application of the kitchen cabinet, cabinet as uh, a predecessor, but no successor. Why? Because that's the last activity. The last activity does not have any successor. Okay, then I cross check again and move up. The first activity has successor but no predecessor, and that I supposed to be no predecessor because it's the first activity. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video. So, if you like this video, please click the like icon below the screen and also subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of video trainings on primaveras will be uploaded here so subscribe to this channel click the notification bell below the screen so that you get access to fresh updates of video uploads thank you for watching